वेलकम टू अभिव्यक्ति इंडिया फ्यूचर क्लास रूम हियर आर द क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम स्टेटिस्टिक्स ऑन इनवर्स प्रॉब्लम ऑन फाइंडिंग मिसिंग फ्रिक्वेंसी द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज द फॉलोइंग डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन शोज द डेली पॉकेट अलाउंस ऑफ चिल्ड्रन ऑफ अ लोकैलिटी द मीन पॉकेट अलाउंस इज रुपीज एटीन फाइंड द मिसिंग फ्रिक्वेंसी एप हियर इज द गिवन डेटा दैट डेली पॉकेट अलाउंस is 11 to 13 13 to 15 15 to 17 17 to 19 19 to 21 21 to 23 and 23 to 25 and the number of children are 7 6 9 13 5 5 and 4 here this missing frequency you have to find so first make a table in which class interval is given frequency is given and you have to find the mid values first as we have seen in the previous episode that mid values can be calculated by taking the average of the lower limit and the upper limit that is 13 plus 11 that will be 24 divided by 2 so it will be 12 similarly another mid value will be the average of 13 and 15 so it will be 15 plus 13 that is equal to 28 divided by 2 so it will be 14 <coughs> here you see that there is a difference of 2 so just go on adding 2 in each consecutive number so 14 plus 2 will be 16 16 plus 2 will be 18 18 plus 2 will be 20 then 22 and 24 this will be the mid values and these mid values are denoted by xi now we will find fi xi that is product of the frequency and the mid values so 7 multiplied by 12 that will be 84 6 multiplied by 14 that 2 will be 84 9 multiplied by 16 will be 144 13 multiplied by 18 that will be 234 f multiplied by 20 that will be 20 f 5 multiplied by 22 will be 110 and 4 multiplied by 24 that will be 98 so here the sum of the frequencies that is 7 plus 6 plus 9 plus 13 plus f plus 5 plus 4 this total will be 44 plus f since f is a unlike term so we cannot add it with 44 so it will remain as 44 plus f now we will find the summation of fi xi it means we will add all these numbers and so you will get summation of fi xi is equal to 752 plus 20f now we will apply the formula that is mean is equal to summation of fi xi upon summation of fi so mean is given as 18 so 18 is equal to summation of fi xi is 752 plus 20f so it will be 752 plus 20f upon summation of fi that is 44 plus f by cross multiplication you will get 18 multiplied by into bracket 44 plus f 
and 70, 752 plus 20F. Multiply by 18 inside the bracket and it will be 792 minus 752 shifting 752 this side you will get 792 minus 752 plus 20 F will be as it is and this 18 F will be shifted to other side and it will be minus 18 F so it is 40 is equal to 2 F and therefore F is equal to 20 and the required frequency is 20 <coughs> friends here is a, another question on the screen if the mean of the following frequency distribution is 188 the mean is given and you have to find the missing frequency f1 and f2 here there are two missing frequencies that you have to find that is f1 and f2 So first we make the table in which class interval is given, frequency is given, we calculate the mid values by taking the average of the class intervals. So first will be 40, then it will be 120, then it will be 200, 280 and 360. Now we calculate the product of frequency and mid values that is Fi Xi. So it is 20 into 40 that will be 800, 25 into 120 that will be equal to 3000, F1 into 200 that is 200 F1, F2 into 280 that will be 280 F2 and 10 into 360 that will be 3600. Friends here the summation of fi that is sum of this all frequencies that will be 55 plus f1 plus f2 20 plus 25 plus 10 will be 50 plus f1 plus f2 and this summation of fi xi this total that will be equal to 800 plus 3000 plus 3600 that will be equal to 7400 plus 200 F1 plus 282 F2 since N is equal to 100 55 N means sum of the frequencies so this will be 50 plus F1 plus F2 is equal to 100 shifting 55 to the other side you will get it F1 plus F2 is equal to 100 minus 55 that is 45. So F2 is equal to shift F1 to other side. So it will be 45 minus F1. Let this be number 1. Now mean is equal to summation of Fi Xi upon summation of Fi. So it will be 188 mean is given as 188 is equal to summation of fi upon summation of fi so cross multiply multiply by 100 to 188 so you will get 18800 is equal to 7400 plus 200 f1 plus 280 f2 so shifting to 7400 to the other side it will be 18,800 minus 7,400 is equal to 200 F1 plus 280 F2. So it will be 11,400 is equal to this one. So dividing by 10 throughout the equation, you will get 1,140 is equal to 20 F1 plus 40 F2 because this is 0, this is 0 and this 0 will get cancelled. So 570 dividing by 2 because 2 is a common factor throughout the equation so it will be 570 plus 10 F1 plus 14 F2. 
so solving this equation here f2 is equal to 45 minus f1 that we have calculated from equation number 1 so replacing it so you will get this one now multiply by 14 inside the bracket and you will get 570 is equal to 10 f1 plus 630 minus 14 f1 so take 6, 6, 30 to the other side so it will be 570 minus 630 is equal to 10 f1 minus 14 f1 so it will be minus 60 is equal to minus 4 f1 so f1 is equal to 15 therefore f2 is equal to 30 put the value of f1 in equation number 1 that is f2 is equal to 45 minus f1 so it will be equal to 45 minus 30 and therefore it will be equal to 50 so sorry f1 is 15 so this will be 15 and so f2 will be equal to 30 friends thank you very much for watching this video if you have enjoyed it please like it subscribe it and share it with your friends thank you very much